So this is the Exbury grow house. It's a freestanding grow house. It's one and a half meters, five feet long, just uh, over six feet tall with the apex there, 1.82 meters, and front to back, two foot eight or 79 centimeters. So it can go anywhere in the garden. It's completely freestanding. It's got fixings to bolt it down to a patio so it'll withstand storm force winds. But if you want to put it up against uh, an uneven wall or a fence, then you can do. The depth is such that you can reach everything from the front, but if you have got it freestanding, then the glass back on these models slides. So you've got very easy access in at the back of the frame, and that means that if you can get to the back, then you can also access the shelving from the back. The beauty of the sliding glass as well is that it allows you to have through ventilation. So it's when, when it's very hot, you can have the back glass and the front glass open and get the air moving through. And that's one of the great things about our grow houses, the ability to have really good ventilation. Early in the year, when the weather's not so good, you can open the, the windows just a, a few inches and just keep the air moving and circulating so you're not getting disease problems. In the height of summer, then you can open the glass fully. So fully at the top and the bottom and on this one, the back panels as well. And you can even slide the roof. So it's one of those exceptionally hot summer days. You can slide the roof glass and get the hot air moving out through the top. So very versatile grow house here. Inside, you can see there's a number of accessories that are included as standard. You've got uh, shelving in there. You've got six C tray shelves. You've got a center staging, and you've also got a watering system. So your shelving is designed for C trays or for pots. We use these very slim but sturdy bars that allow the light to come down to the lower levels, so you're not creating permanent shadows. They're adjustable height-wise, so there's lots of holes in the back that allow you to change the height of the shelving. And if you don't want to use the shelves, then this one at the bottom has been dropped flat against the back. So you can put it out of the way, giving you more depth in the grow house. The center staging is toughened safety glass. It's very, very strong. We rate each pane at 25 kilos. That's an awful lot of plants on there. And the reason we use glass rather than, say, wooden slats is to ensure that we're getting the light down to the lower levels. If we had wooden slats, we would have permanent shadows down there, and that would stunt the growth of the plants that are there. But with the glass center staging, the light's getting down, and you're getting more growth. But if you want to, you can remove the glass to allow plants to grow at full height. You can lift out each sheet individually, so you can have, say, half and half glazed uh, staging and uh, open space for say things like tomatoes or you can take it all out and if you drop all the shelves down or take all the shelves out in the height of summer you can just have as it were an empty box but under the protection of the glass so things like chilies and peppers will really benefit from that tomatoes in there will benefit from the the glass when it's not so warm but when it is hot you can ventilate really well because tomatoes don't like to be too hot. The other thing that we include as standard is the watering system. You've got four little nozzles, two uh, at the higher level and two down below the center staging. And on this one, we've got the inlet here. This can be either side, uh, depending where your water supply is, but you just connect your hose onto the end here, turn the tap on for a couple of minutes and the nozzles come on and spray the whole grow house with a fine mist. And if you go away, what you can do is add a timer onto your tap and then have it pre-programmed to come on in the morning, water the plants, and then everything set up for the day. And talking about going away, if you want to, you can also add an automatic vent into the grow house. Normally this would be at this end here, we would take this pane of glass out and put the louver vent in, although you can put it on the other side if you need to but it's a little bit more tricky to do that. The automatic louver vent will open and close on its own depending on the temperature. So you have an oil-filled piston that uh, 
senses the temperature, it's a plant oil, so there's nothing uh, nasty about it. But as it expands, it opens up the, uh, the slats on the vent, uh, and then the air flows through. And then it, it, when it cools in the, in, the, in the evening time, then the vent will close itself. So a very useful accessory, not just for when you're away, but if this is in the sun, early in the springtime, you're going to want the doors all shut during the night because it might be cold, but in uh, sort of late April, early May, the sun's coming up at say five or six in the morning. If the sun's on it, it'll warm up quite quickly. So the vent is really useful then, opens up and ventilates the frame while you're still in bed. So the grow house is extremely durable, it is extremely versatile, and it comes in a number of other lengths. This is the five foot, but we do a six foot five and a, a three foot four version as well. So ideal if you haven't got a huge garden, or ideal if you've got a large garden and you've got a big greenhouse already and you want something extra for a bit more of an overflow space.